subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about Luqman alayhi salam and as we mentioned Luqman alayhi salam he has do's and don't do's uh, things to do and things you cannot do and we mentioned there are 10 of them but the one that we are talking about tonight which is about number 9 wala tamshi fil ardi mar it's about walking and how to walk on the earth Let's emphasize about walking. You know, in Islam, as we mentioned, there is adab for everyone. Even in Islam, there is adab al mesh how to walk in Islam. Mm -hmm. And there is also some morals and manners in Islam about how to walk when you walk. Right? Because, you know, in Islam, Islam tells us part of the hijab of the women is how they walk too. A woman can wear a complete hijab, but if the walk is not appropriate, it's called ghayla hijab. <laughs> Even though she's covered from head to toe, everything is covered. But if the walk is not appropriate, it's not called hijab. Because hijab, part of it is what? It's walking too. And the same thing applies to men too. If a man dresses, or if the man comes out and walks in the cloth, if it is a decent cloth, if he walks and walks that can cause attention, that walk becomes what? Haram in Islam. That is why walking is very important as well. And in Islam, we have what we call Adabul Mesh. As you walk, how should you walk? Number one, according to the next ayah, which inshallah, the next time we talk about it into details, he says that when you walk, you should not walk fast. And not walk very slow either. What should you do? It's moderate. The next ayah tells us, because the first ayah here, the ayah we discussed, is telling us, do not walk like those tyrants. Right? But how? Then it comes to the next ayah, it says, Take moderation when you walk. MashaAllah, see some people, when they walk, it's like somebody's chasing them. Oh, that's not right. And some people, MashaAllah, when they walk also, they walk as like, MashaAllah, they are like, they are like, like they're on drum. Right? They take, MashaAllah, so not that far, not that far either. It has to be what? In the middle. And you see some people also when they walk, it's like they don't feel walking. It's like somebody's pushing them. You have to walk slowly. No? Right? Now, as you walk also, there is a dab of Islam regarding the walk that you have to observe. Number one, they said, as you walk, you are not allowed Islamically to do a, to pollute the path on the place you walk in. And this is where the literal will come in, huh? Sometimes when we drive, we throw food outside. That's haram in Islam. You're not supposed to do that. But if you walk, if I am jogging or walking and I have something dumping on the track, on the street or on the sidewalk, and you are not allowed as a matter of Islamic behavior, it's not allowed to do that. That is one of the what we call adabul mesh. That is one. Number two, as you walk, if you see something that can hurt any person, you have to stop and figure out. I'm walking, and it's not just my neighborhood. No, anywhere that I'm walking, I see something. It can hurt a child. It can hurt someone. You have to stop, and you are obligated to lift it. That's one of the Adam of Mashi, the Adam of War. Another one. They said, as you walk also, there are certain things you have to know. One of them is, anything that will disrespect you as a human being, you're not allowed to do it. Allah. And that is why even they say eating on the street is makroo. Even though it's, it's, it's okay, it's not haram. But as you walk, if you are eating certain things, as you walk, I was callous and akhlaq, this is makroo. Discourage it is not. And especially for the rohani, it's haram akhlaqan. Haram akhlaqan. You know, as a Muhammad or Alim is not supposed, not that it's haram for Alim too, but it's haram akhlaq, because we have two kinds of haram. There is haram shari'i and there's haram akhlaq. Haram akhlaq means an Alim is not supposed to be eating on the street. And there is a story about Allah Sayyid al Khu'i rahmatullah ta'ala alayhi. In Najaf al Ashraf, when he was walking in the market, he saw one of the television was sitting, mashallah, on the street. He stopped and asked him to give him his amamah. And he took the amamah and he said, you don't deserve to have this. Because you're not supposed to disrespect this clothes. If you want to eat, you have to find a place, decent, sit down and eat. 
Because in the, in the, in the, on the street, there is Adam. And one of the Adam is to make sure that you don't do something to disrespect yourself. That's one of the Adam. Another one, they said, one of the Adam of Meshit, if you are walking and you meet any person, you are supposed to say salam to me. And there is more deep unto this. Adam of Meshit, if you are walking and you see somebody, they said you have to say salam to them. Uh, now here there is so, so, so many different. If you are riding and somebody is sitting, then the one rider says to salam to the one who was sitting. If somebody is sitting and you pass them by, then the one passing by is supposed to say salam to them. If you are at home, somebody walks in, the one who walks inside the house is supposed to say salam to somebody who is sitting at home. This is Adam of Islam. And one of them is, as I'm walking on the street, I see someone, I am obligated by akhlaq to first say salam. Not just that. No, if somebody says salam to me, I have to say salam back. On the tree. That's one of the adab of tariq, of adab al mash Not only that, when you do the mash or you walk, there is another wajib too. When you see anything that is good as being done, you have to do Amr al -Mah. That's Adam al -Mash. I'm walking, I see something positive, I have to encourage it. I cannot just pass by and not do anything because it's part of the Adam of walking that I have to encourage doing good. One of the Adam also as well, and Nahi an al Munkar, I see somebody is doing something wrong, and it's my responsibility as I'm walking to discourage that evil. That's one of the adab of Mesh. Another one, they said, when you see two people are quarreling and fighting, what should you do? Islam. Right? And you can see that in the Quran, Prophet Musa alayhi salam, when he was passing by, and there was one Bani Israel and one of those al Qiptis who were having problem, and they called a Prophet Musa alayhi salam. And he stopped and helped the one who needed help. And that was wajib. He must do that. Because that is one of the Adam of Mesh. And it's not like here, when I pass by, I see people are fighting, I say, none of my business. No, it's your business as you walk. That is one of the Adam. That when a person sees somebody is doing something wrong, you have to do Amr al They do something right, you encourage them. Some people are fighting, you have to stop and do reconciliation between them. Another one, one of the Adam of Mesh. You are not allowed to use the pad for your personal purpose when the place is meant for public. You're not allowed to do that. MashaAllah, I know here you can't do that because of the law. But back at home, MashaAllah, somebody wants to do a wedding, right? So you come and block the street, right? Nobody come past, come walk out today because we're having fun today. Everybody has to be locked up in their house. Okay, good. You're having fun? I'm not. Why do I have to be locked in my house? Mm. As I guess, I adapt with Islam, right? Now, some of us, because of my own personal reason, I want to block others from using that public facility. It's haram. You cannot do that. If it's meant for public, it's supposed to stay for public. I cannot use the pavement or the place which is meant for others and for everybody for my personal reason. That is one of the adab of mission. Another one, adab of mission. They said, also, when you are passing on the, on the pay, on, 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 as well, uh, when a person is walking, one of the adab is, do not do something that will embarrass you or your family. That's one of the adab, especially maybe let's say, a husband and wife are walking, right? Now, I can do something to embarrass my wife. For example, picking my own nose, while I'm walking, then my wife is next to me, right? Now, you might not feel anything because it's normal, but your wife will be embarrassed. One of the Adam is that you cannot do that. At least for the sake of what? To respect the dignity of your spot, you're not allowed to do that. Out of respect, what? Yes, if you yourself, nobody will say that that's up to you. But at least to keep the karama of the person that is with you, you're not supposed to do that. There are some of the akhlaq of what? Of the bashi. 
that Luqman alayhi salam, when he talks, he says, وَلَا تُسَعِرْ خَدَّكَ لِلنَّاسِ وَلَا تَمْشِ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَرْحَا إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُحِبُّ كُلَّ مُكَالٍ فَقُوَةٍ One of them is Mesh. But here, there is, this is Tafsir Tadahim. There is Tafsir Tadahim also. They say, Al-Mashi here, it doesn't mean actually physical war. It means the spiritual journey to Allah subhanahu wa Because there are two kinds of walk. One walk is what? As physically, I'm walking, taking steps. There's another one, no. I'm walking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's they say, there are two kinds of suffer. I suffer in Allah. I'm traveling to Allah, but not by what? Not by car or by boat, right? And there is one journey that I need those things to get to my destination. Here they say, Wala tamshi fil ardi marha. He's talking about when you are going on the journey to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, don't, don't be very, very lazy in that journey to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Take it as serious as you can and walk as fast as you can because another ayah in the Quran says, وَسَارِعُوا إِلَىٰ مَغْفِرَةِ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ وَجَنَّةٍ عَرْضُهَا عَرْضَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Allah wants you to take it very serious and fast as you can. Mm -hmm. 